what the heck what the heck is this jesus look at the size of this thing go away Hi everyone, so today I'll be visiting Etheria. I found this stream address on Twitter, it's someone that I follow. I'll, I'll put her account um, down there in the description if you guys want to check, and also her dream address if you want to visit this island by yourself. But I don't really know what this is about. I didn't really see any pictures, so I'm really like going in here with all- Oh, this already looks interesting. Oh, I really love this blur effect on the background. I wish we had this all the time. Oh, look at her flag. It's like a magical girl kind of thing going on. Oh, this is beautiful. It looks like a Sailor Moon inspired kind of island. Look at this. The flowers. The floor. Everything. Oh, let's see her. Oh, so she doesn't have any designs. That's okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's see her map. Ooh, it's very organic. A lot of water. She'll probably have a lot of waterfalls. There is a lot of water in this island. She did a crazy terraforming here. Um, just looks awesome. This map looks awesome. I love how she did like lots of paths and seems really easy to walk around and find the houses but it is still it still seems really natural. You can see like all the water and the ponds and you know it just looks really natural. I can see some heart-shaped ponds there, two heart-shaped ponds on the right to the right to the right of the resident services. This looks really cute. Excited to see this part. Um the airport is kind of... this is like a weird map, I've never seen this kind of shape of map, like the airport is really to the right. But, okay, this island map looks amazing, I'm really, I'm already excited, I already love the pink flowers, you know. Let's see her villagers, so we've got her, Jackie, nice to visit your island, Jackie, thank you for posting your dream address, it looks cracking already. We have Tommy, Tommy's cute, really like her. Boone, I had Boone in my game on Wii, one of the Animal Crossings that I had in the past. And Celia, Celia's so lovely, I love her. Apple, I don't like Apple, sorry guys, don't hate on me please. I must admit I don't like Apple. Um, Colton, he's ugly, but he's like medieval, I really like that. Chehi, oh I had Chehi, I miss Chehi, she's the cutest cub, I love her, oh Chehi, I miss you. Annalise, then Paula, she's ugly. Um, Chief, really like Chief. He's a wolf, but he kind of looks like a fox. I think he has an interesting look. Um, I have his amiibo card, but I don't currently have his on my island, but I'll probably put him someday. I, I quite like him. And Frita, which is the, I think this is the fast food Animal Crossing character. She's like a potato chips, uh, french french fries or something, I'm not really sure. Okay, so I'm really excited guys about this island! Oh, this looks really good! Oh, ready! And I've barely seen anything. Okay, so right here we've got a little... I don't even know, it's like a little cake place. Oh, I just love this design she used on the floor. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Good job decorating this. I love what she did here. Like some lollies, lollies kind of... She used the wedding thing, the wedding poster thing. Oh! Oh, got bit by a mosquito. Even in my dreams. That's a nightmare. Okay, so she used the shell table and she has these hats designs looking like cakes. We've got the waterfall re here to. Oh, and she has like here scent lamps. Oh my god, this island's gonna be perfect. So we've got Able Sisters. We've got two dresses, a fairy dress here. Nice lamps on the floor. Oh, they light up. Oh, they light up when you walk on them. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, 
Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that. Okay, so we've got... Okay, so she probably likes makeup. There is like a Sephora kind of thingy here. And we've got like shelves with products, like makeup products and color palettes and nail polishing stuff and nail painting kind of stuff. And then we have a mermaid shelf, which looks really nice. Then we've got a nail bar. Really cute. Oh, I really like how she uses this, that, those sofas with the 10 desks. Really cute. Really pink and white. I think we have a theme here on this island and I like it. Okay, we've got... Oh, what the heck? What the heck is this? Jesus. Look at the size of this thing. Go away. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so focus, sorry, focus, focus, focus. Um, so we're on the beach, here to the left, we've got nothing, sorry. Here to the right, we've got some nice designs on the sand. We've got, oh, this beautiful, oh my god, this island's everything. This beautiful waterfall, with beautiful flowers. You see, she did like kind of like a rainbow, so we've got like blue yellow, orange, red, pink, and then purple flowers. Then we've got like a Jacob's Ladder and a Golden Rose. How'd they get that? How'd they get that? I want to get to the entrance. I feel like we're missing a huge entrance here. Let's try to get back to the airport entrance because most people, since the Dream Dreams designs weren't available before, most people designed the entrance of the islands thinking about Someone who's getting from oh my god, this gorgeous. To, what I was talking about. Oh uh, yeah, so for, for someone who is coming from the airport, right? So let's do the proper entrance. So this is the actual entrance of her island, and it's amazing. I am speechless. I am speechless. Look at this mermaid so far. This mermaid car. She's just everything. And the waterfalls, I love how she did not just like huge waterfalls, but also like little streams. Can you see like those little streams to the sides? It's just like really, it seems a lot more natural. Most people just do like a waterfall wall here, but this looks like so natural. Oh, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. You know, these ship things, anchors. Oh, here is the heart lake. Oh, not Lake Pond. Oh, the hot. Oh, guys, I have to take so many pictures on this one because everything's beautiful. Look at these. Oh, I love that. Okay, really like this entrance. Amazing, amazing entrance. Really like that. Uh, so, we've got more waterfalls here. We've got a rose bed. Oh, lay down. Yeah. Lay down the rose bed. Oh, we've got a bunch of turnips here. She kind of, <laughs> she kind of tried to he to hide the thing, the turnips. Gotta make your money, girl. Don't judge. Okay. Oh, there she is. Oh, you're so pretty. Hi. You're so beautiful in your mermaid dress. Oh my God, I'm your fan already. I love your island. Can I take a picture with you, Miss? Please. Because I absolutely love your island. Get out of here, Paula. Get out of here. Okay. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, thank you. I even managed to take a picture. Because you're the best. And your island's the best. Ah, oh, this is so cute. I'm ruining your photo and Paula as well. Oh, this is so lovely. I really like that. You're so cute. Love your dress. Okay, let's see your house. Sorry, intruding. Let's check this out. Oh, the house is a bit empty, I must admit, but I really like the colors. So it's like, again, it's really blue and pink. And she used this butterfly here on the floor, it just looks magical. It just really looks magical. She've got two cancer tables with some horsies. Oh, not horsey. I don't. I don't remember the name of this animal. I just know the name of the Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. Yeah. 
I'll just call horsey, okay? It's a hor orange horsey. Um, really magical. Look at this. It looks like an altar. It looks like a fairy house. Oh, this is so cute. It looks like a fairy house. Oh, it's so lovely. Let's see back down here. Oh, it's a bedroom and it's full of mermaid furniture. How did she manage to get so much furniture already? Oh, look at the furniture. It changes... It changes... Not colors. It's kind of holographic. <gasps> that is awesome. Can you see that? When I, sw when I switch from left to right, it has kind of like a holographic effect on the mermaid furniture. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so she has a bunch. She is at the wedding wall, which looks really nice. She has a bunch of clothes. It's basically her clothes that um, looks really cool. She has a nice TV down there, some hats. Looks really cute. Really, really princessy. Let's get out of here. Really like that. Oh. I'm almost going away. Okay, so to the left. More mermaid furniture! Girl, how did they manage to do that? She must play like all day. That's awesome. That's awesome though. Really like this. Really like the wardrobe. Can we see her clothes? Oh, we can't. Oh, this is a shame. I wish to see. I wish I could see her clothes. Let's go to the right room. Oh, it's her kitchen. Can I turn the lights on? I can't, but this looks amazing. Her kitchen overall looks like really cute because it has, you know, like it's really white but then she has this ironwood shelving here and then the sink and the floor is really nice and this terrarium is really nice and she has this oven which I love, really love this item as well, it's one of my favorite items as well, she has a nice painting but this spot is like so romantic, it's like a table with two chairs and then the secretary, and it's just mm, not tree, right? It's like cherry blossom um, vase. Oh, that's so beautiful. <gasps> I really like that as well. I'm gonna you know, sit down here. Okay, very cute. Pink walls, white furniture, romantic. It's very romantic. I really feel like I'm on a Sailor Moon episode or something. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I think, um, I'm not sure, oh, okay, I know what she, she tried to do here. She really like mermaid stuff, it's kind of like a little mermaid area here where she got like an underwater area where she got all the fishes and the jellyfish. It's almost, yeah, almost like, a, like we are underwater. I really like the flooring. I've never seen this flooring. Is it like a mermaid flooring? And the walls are just amazing. It looks like a mermaid palace. Her house looks like a mermaid palace, actually. Now I'm stopping to think about it. I really like the theme. I love it that. It's so creative. This all looks really cute. I really love that. <clears throat> Let's see the basement. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, what is this? What is this wall? Uh, I always wanted to have a wall like this when I was a kid. Oh, that's so cute. A bunch of balloons. Can I shake the balloons? Yes, please. A little pink doggy. And the doll. I don't like much this doll, to be honest. She looks a bit creepy. And then here, this and a lovely bed. Oh, this looks oh, so cute. And again, I think... What she's trying to do here is also give this like underwater vibes and I'm really feeling it. I really really like it. Honestly. I 
think it's like a mermaid inspired kind of island. I think that's the theme of the island. Oh, here you are! I love you! Let me take another picture! Because, oh, you're the best, Jackie. I love your island. I really love it. I never want to leave. I want to drink forever. Okay, so let's go on. So we've got like a bonfire here, some white benches, and then we've got Paula, who's made of the stuff again, and then we have this little pool. <clears throat> Here's the french fry girl. <gasps> We've got two turtles! Are they kissing? They're super cute. Okay, we've got the campsite and beach area as well. I really like how she laid out here the barbecue and the furnace together. It looks really cool. Oh, we've got another like mini campfire here. That's so cute. Look at the stone stools. Another waterfall that leads to the entrance. And we've got someone's house here with a tiger and this bathroom again. Let me see. Oh, that's Tommy's house. That's why. He... Oh, that's cute. Okay, I really like that. Some trees. Then we have someone else's house. Then we've got her house. She did something interesting here. That's so interesting. I like the look of that. Like the brick floor and then another brick floor on top of it but just to give a pop of color it looks looks nice as well i really like that but this is frita's house here's the beach again oh how beautiful we have like a mermaid area here as well with the shell beds we've got a bunch of flowers then we've got someone else's house here down here with a little table and chair. I think we should go up first. Let's do the right area first. Oh, that's interesting. She used the garden walk on in the middle of the lake, but it looks looks cute. I really like that. Okay. I hear a bunch of flowers, some hyacinth plants. Oh, beautiful cherry blossom picnic. We've got someone else's house here. And I think we hit the dead end. Yeah, so let's go down there. But that looks really cute. I'm finding I find it really easy to wander around this island as well. I don't feel lost at all. Yay! Jumping, stepping stones. <gasps> a beautiful park with a pink piano. Oh, I love this piano. The fountain, some pink flowers. Oh, and now she changed the pattern in the floor. So now she's using this star-shaped path on top of the bricks. Oh, she has a giant pink robot. That is so cute. Oh, I like that. That is so cute. <laughs> and up here we have more flowers. Oh, she has a bunch of green mums and purples and pink mums. Oh, I love that. Got, what's going on here? I think we've got black flowers and candles. <gasps> it's a graveyard. <gasps> It is a graveyard in the middle of the lake. <gasps> that is so flipping awesome. <gasps> oh god, it looks like a shrine almost. It's like a graveyard slash shrine. And it looks fabulous. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I love how she put the moon here as well. Like if you see, can you see like she uses the stone path in a circle shape and then the star shaped path on top of it and it just looks really nice because it looks like it's floating on top of the universe or something. It just looks really fitting with the moon. I, I particularly find really hard to fit the moon somewhere in my island. I just can't place the moon anywhere and it just looks really weird. But he looks really nice in the middle of this graveyard thing. Um, but let's go that later. So I really like this design as well that she's using on the floor. And then up here we've got... Mm, so we've got more like Japanese kind of style. A bit of a spa I think. Yeah, I think that's definitely a spa. Got some pools. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, I'm curious. Okay, let's go there back then later. 
they've got a bunch of books, really relaxing, like a chill area, a pirate ship, the fireplace, a violin, no, not a violin, sorry, um, forgot cello, beautiful sounds. Oh, I think, oh, a stargazing area, <gasps> that is so perfect, oh, that is so perfect, and we are at night. Oh, I have to take a picture of the moon. Mm, down there we have some more interesting stuff. We've got a chessboard, the cello, the spa. And if we go down here, get back to this side, more stepping stones. We have a cafe. Oh, this is awesome. It's like a mermaid cafe. I really feel like I'm underwater. And I'm in like a mermaid world. Oh, it's amazing. Sorry, every time I see espresso, I have to turn it on. <laughs> every time. Look at that. So she also uses hats with cakes designs, and she lays out. She uses them desks to lay out as it fits the balcony, and it just looks really good. I never stopped to think about how you could use the den desks this way, and she uses you know all the mermaid furniture. And there's like wooden table here with some, a really nice magazine sign and this mermaid lamps are everything oh this just looks so pretty i love that really love that it's really cute love the cafe love the step stones love the signs and floor let's check it out here the robots oh we've got stepping stones here should i go back no let's go let's go to proper back Okay, so here we are in the museum. We have... Oh no, we have the creepy butterfly again. Go away. Is it like a moth? I think it's a moth. I'm gonna run on it. Ah, go away. Okay. So we've got two cute turtles. Oh, she opened her mouth. You're so cute. She does a cute song. Okay, we've got another fun thing. We've got the museum, some water. Oh, oops, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to, to enter the museum. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Hi, Waters. You're awake. You're very lovely. You're very lovely tonight, Waters. Okay, so we've got some waterfalls, white fountain, turtles, kind of dating. We've got the Able Sisters with the nail shop again. Then we've got the Nook shop. Really cute. Looks a bit more urban, but still in that mermaid theme, for sure. Got a bunch of flowers, really colorful. Then here we have this bridge. Star-shaped stuff again on the floor. Oh, we've got someone's house here. The Ramion, purple pool. She probably likes this resident. It's apples. I think she quite likes apple because she gave pretty big space to her. Oh, we've got. I really like how she separates spaces. I think this is something else to note here. Like, it's really natural, but at the same time, it's so organized. Like, you can clearly go here and forget that you were in the city and totally go into the beach. And I really like how her beach is kind of clean as well. Oh, Boom. How are you, Boom? It's been some time. I think around 12 years since I last seen you. <laughs> Thank you. So, this is Boom's house for sure. I don't even need to check. Um, let's see. Who's here? Colton. So, the medieval guy. Can we enter the houses? We can enter the houses. That's interesting. Hello, Colton. My prince. Are you playing some piano? <laughs> don't put your feet on my furniture. Yeah, I wasn't planning to. Don't worry, mate. Goodbye. Colton is nice. I like him. Okay, so down the beach again, 
for the clean. Yeah, really freed up. Here we have her back. She only put some lamps, but it looks really nice. I really like that. It feels almost like SpongeBob, where we are underwater, but there is a beach underwater. You know what I mean? Oh, we are open. Oh, what is this? Looks crazy. It's like a red. Okay, so here's her like how it's white and cute, and we have this red carpet. <gasps> so like a tropical bar. Oh, that looks so nice. I really like that. It's like a luau, kind of like a tropical drinks bar. Then we've got, oh, it's like a party. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. She's doing like a DJ there. The marshmallow kind of thingy. Oh, <laughs> I don't personally like parties, to be honest, but this looks really funny. I really like that. That's really creative. I wasn't expecting that. And I love how the music doesn't fit this at all. This is actually really fun. I love that. Random music, random astronaut, <laughs> DJ area, really cool. I love that. It was really creative and unexpected. Let's go back there to the houses and get up. So we stopped here. Oh, but new here again. Oh, we have someone else's. Oh, this is definitely a jock villager. She bought like a gym stuff here. Oh, this is Boone's house. So Boone is jock. I didn't even know that. This is Shahi house. Yeah, I miss her. Please come back to my island, Shahi. I love you. Okay, so this is the stepping stone. This is Shahi house. Here we have stairs. Oh, what is this? We have like a diner. That is so unexpected as well, but it's still like, it's amazing how she did like really different, like original creative sections like this, but she can still make them feel part of the island and part of the theme. Like this is really, this is actually really hard to come up with. Like she made like a diner, but it still feels like it fits that whole mermaid, pinkish, bluish kind of style that she got going on here. We've got a park. Oh, we've got more graves. I kind of like this part. <gasps> a bit creepy, but really nice. Okay, so we've got like a park area, kind of, with drink machines, but a bit more urban. We've got a, oh, we've got like a, yeah, like a kids park or something. That's cute. That's cute. I like that. I don't usually use those items. Okay, so up here is the graveyard slash shrine. And I don't know why, but this contrasts so much with her island theme that actually fits in as well. And it looks so, I don't know, like having this bit of contrast makes this look more interesting. Okay, so I quite like this graveyard slash shrine area. It's it's so contrasting with the overall vibe of the island that it actually makes this look more interesting. You know what I mean? Like everything's so pinky and bluish and dreamy and mermaid and, and cute. And then you've got this area which is a bit creepy but it's still beautiful and it still fits the island but it's so contrasting with the rest of the theme that I don't know, it's just making it look more interesting and more mysterious, I think, if that makes sense. I wonder if this is like actual characters that died or like villagers that left her island and made graves for them. You see like here you have, or oh, she just created characters. Here you have like an elegant dress. Then you've got like a football um, thingy. Soccer, football, I don't know. Then you've got this beautiful heart-shaped stone path on the floor and it's just on the ground and it's just so nice. And here we have those two shrines I was looking earlier. Looks great. Oh, fortune teller. <gasps> this is a bit witchy. Like I really like the magical vibes of this island. This this island's just I think that's the word. Like this island is magical. 
literally magical. I am in love with this island. Here's Red Beach, full of stars. Oh, this is so beautiful. We have like a pathway with full of stars. Oh, for fortune teller, of course. So you can, after going through the graveyard, you can read your hands or your cards with the fortune teller. That's so cool. <gasps> that is so nice. And the music, is, I think it's Hypno KK. Oh, I just love that, guys. I love that. I absolutely love that. I'm, honestly, I'm speechless. It's just, it's just like really my cup of tea. You know what I mean? It's just like so cute. All the colors are beautiful. All the paths that she used are beautiful. The designs are amazing. Uh, her ideas are amazing. The way she laid out the town, it's like really natural, but really easy to find yourself anyways. Um, she doesn't have any like forest or, you know, like very classic stuff that everyone has, like forest or like main park or anything like that, but it's still so like really magical. It's magical. This island is magical. I'm absolutely in love with this. I want to live in here. Please adopt me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end here, guys. I think this is a really nice place. And I think I'm gonna visit this island again in the future. Magical.